morning, everyone. This is Shauna, and I'm coming to you this week with another video question. Um, somebody asked about some basic U substitutions that we've been reviewing this week for integration. So I'm going to go over a couple of those problems now, and hopefully this will help refresh your memory just a bit. Share my screen at this time and show you the actual problem that we're looking at. This is from your um, review one. The first one is number 19. Oops. And it says evaluate the integral. It's indefinite, so we don't have a, an ans a, a numerical answer for this. Oops. My apologies. We don't have a numerical answer for this because it is an indefinite integral. But nevertheless, the, the problem that some of you had with this first integral was the U substitution itself. And actually some of you substituted for just the X squared, okay? And if you substitute for just the x squared, then you end up with your du being 2x dx. So you end up with e to the u cosine u du. And e to the u cosine u du um, is there not an integral that you know how to evaluate at this time. You will. Um, by the end of next month, you'll know how to evaluate that. Um, the problem with that, though, is that if you end up with e to the u cosine u du, then um, you have to go back and resubstitute. And like I said, you don't have the integration techniques for that. Instead, instead of just making the u x squared, make it the argument of the cosine, make it e to the x squared, as I did here. u is e to the x squared. And remember, when I differentiate the exponential function, I have the exponential e to the x squared. And then I have the derivative of whatever the power is that I'm raising e to. So the derivative of x squared is 2x, so my du is 2x e to the x squared dx. And because that's true, 2x e to the x squared dx is everything but the cosine of u. So you have cosine of u du, 2x e to the x squared dx. And again, we know from basic integration and from trigonometry, that the derivative of the sine is the cosine. So the integral of the cosine is the sine. Now, the thing you have to remember here is that your um, integrand is in u, so you have to back substitute here because your original integrand was in x. Sine e to the x squared plus a constant, and that's how you integrate that. I'm gonna show you one more that at first seems like it's a little bit harder than it actually is. Evaluate e to the x, sine squared e to the x, cosine e to the x dx. Now, here I made a substitution, u is e to the x, Again, because it's the argument of the trig function, it makes the most sense. Then e to the x is its own derivative. So du is e to the x dx. Now e to the x dx is du, which leaves me with the integral sine squared u cosine u du. Now, I went with another strategy here. There's a couple of different strategies you could have used to solve this, what I did was I went with another substitution. I said, well, let W, you can use any other letter other than the ones that you've used. We've used X, X is the original, 
and we used U in the first substitution. So pick another letter. I used W. You can use anything else you want. W is the sign of U. And DW then is cosine U DU. Okay. Which then gives me, if W is the sign of U, then I have W squared times DW. And that integral becomes W to the third over three or one third W cubed plus a constant. Now we have to go back and back substitute twice because I made two substitutions. So W cubed, that's the same as the sine of U cubed or the sine cubed U. And, but I need to know what U is. U is X, E to the X. So here I have one third sine e to the x all to the third power, which gives me one third sine cubed e to the x plus a constant. Now, the other way of going about this, if I have this function, let me show you something. If I have this integral. Let me write it here. This is sine squared u cosine u. Okay. The other thing I can do, right? The other thing I can do is I could have changed sine squared u to cosine uh, to um, a function in terms of cosine. So let me change this uh, color to black because it's easier to read that. And let me then say this. I could have said, okay. And I asked to black, okay. So this function would have been now, remember, by the Pythagorean identity, we know that cosine squared u plus sine squared u equals 1. So sine squared u, we could have written as 1 minus cosine squared u. That's my sine squared, right? And then I could have said that this is cosine you do you right so then i would have multiplied this out and i would have gotten something like this this would have been my integral this would have been in the um, integrand i would have had cosine u And I should use parenthesis. I'll go back and put that in there. Cosine u minus cosine cube u. D. Okay. But this would have been I could have evaluated. I could have evaluated cosine u du, no problem. I know that that's sine. This cosine cube u would have been more of a problem because I don't have a derivative here. So again, impossible, but with it, this is definitely possible to integrate if you did it this way. But this cosine cube is gonna be difficult for you to integrate with the techniques you know. You could use a power reduction. You could convert this back to sine squared. So definitely um, 
the way that I went here, when I did the double substitution, is the way that you probably would have made an easier time of going about it because you have the function and its derivative, okay? So be aware of that. You can integrate powers of cosine. That is very possible. You'll learn more about that. So if you try to do that, um, know that that is possible, but this, um, this way of doing it was a much better means of doing it, even if, now some of you maybe didn't substitute twice. Some of you noticed that here, if I, if I'm integrating the cosine, the, the sine squared, that cosine's already, so this, some of you might have seen that this is already, um, the sine squared of u, du, and you could have seen that as one third sine. But if you didn't and you needed another substitution, there it is. Anyway, I hope that this video helps you and I will see you in my next one. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.